I'm going to go to a rookie as well for my square play. We're going to go with Rashi Rice, who is easier wide receiver 25. I'm also going to say he's going to be a top 24 play here. Now, Green Bay has been pretty solid versus fantasy wide receivers over the course of the year, but they let up the 28th most points against the position in the last two weeks. I know it's a really small sample size, but it's at least something uh, trending in the right direction for a player who is also very much trending in the right direction. Week 11, we saw Kansas City clearly upset with the wide receiver room. I mean, we had a game losing drop there for MVS. And then we had a game ending drop from Justin Watson. Uh, and then last week they went over to Rashi Rice, the most electric wide receiver in that room. They gave him another week over 60% of the snaps. And he, he came through for us in a big way with that 100 yard game. My only complaint with Rashi Rice is that they rotate too much. Like I want to see this guy out in the field even more because he's very clearly in a way, in my opinion, the best wide receiver they have on that roster although that's not much of a saying too much because that wide receiver room is bottom 10 in the NFL for sure. Uh, but amongst wide receivers with over 100 snaps in the season, Rice has the 12th most yards per route run in the league, despite only having a four yard a dot. I found that very impressive. And that becomes, that comes from his ability after the catch, right? When he was coming into the league, we didn't quite know because early in college, people were talking about him like he was this route runner. And then his, his last year, in school, he wasn't really this great route runner. Reception perception didn't really grade him that well, but he was really great with the ball in his hands. He was a good deep threat. Um, so it was really confusing what kind of a player we're going to get from Rashi Rice. But the way they're using when they get the ball in his hands, good things happen. Um, he's seventh in the league in yaks amongst wide receivers, despite playing like 20% less snaps than all the guys around him. You see the Tyree kills are out there 92% of the snaps, and you've got Rashi Rice out there playing 65% of the snaps. So he thrived when he got 29% of the team targets last week. I expect them to go back his way. Um, because they're pretty desperate for a spark plug, and he's obviously, you know, the best option they have to do that. Yeah, I think he definitely benefits playing with Mahomes because Mahomes is able to, to extend plays, create different threats when he breaks the play down and starts to work his way upfield. But that means that someone's got to be the beneficiary, and nobody else has been able to step up. So in this out in this opportunity, I definitely think that the Rice can prove more worth, especially uh, in such a buy. Uh, late in week where so many people are looking for starters, especially in deeper leagues. I don't see the issue playing for both the upside as well as some, somewhat the floor based on the fact of this role continues to grow for him and he's playing with one of the best quarterbacks on the planet. Yeah, I mean, he's had over eight points every single week since week five. I know that's not like crazy, but when you're worried about some of these young guys, you're worried they could come in and give you a three-point week and it really crushes you. With Rashi Rice, I mean, that's a wide receiver four kind of floor wider a low wide receiver four floor which i will absolutely take if he's going into my lineup as my wide receiver three or my mm -hmm. wide receiver four um and then of course he can give us what he did last week when he went for over 100 yards uh he had he's had three other weeks since week five where he was in the double digits so you know he's not he's not just a floor option there mm -hmm. um one thing yeah. with patrick mahomes when you're working with patrick mahomes like with Kadarius tony it's great when you get the ball in his hands at least that was the pitch right but you have to you have to get open and secure the ball. And one thing I like with Rush Rice, he's been efficient in his targets. When he gets the targets, he's bringing the targets in, he's making the catch, and then he's making something happen. You don't have to be this elite route runner. Of course, if you are Tyree Kale and you're a good route runner and you're incredible to find soft spots and zones, you're going to break the NFL. But with Patrick Mahomes, you just need to be able to find those spots because he extends plays and they're so good at extending plays. This is what makes Travis Kelsey so good. I don't think he's this elite route runner. He's just... He makes up routes. He just goes out there for the love of the game, and he he can read defenses so great. He's very well prepared. I'll give him credit there, but he just finds all these soft spots in the zones, and when Patrick Mahomes is moving outside the pocket or the play breaks down, Travis is just trying to lock eyes with Pat and just move in a way where Pat can get him the ball. And Rashi Rice, if he can continue to learn how to do that, I think that their connection could, could definitely grow. Yeah, and speaking with the floor versus ceiling one more time, um, based on – the fact that he's not getting uh, elite snap shares yet either, that that proves opportunity for more ceiling as well. I wasn't saying the floor thing was a bad thing. I was just saying that he gives you a range that isn't zero to something. There is a bottom to it, and that does help you give a little, get a little more confidence playing him as even a flex option in your lineup. Yeah, I mean, he's sitting at around a 9% touchdown mm -hmm. rate, which is slightly unsustainable, but in the way they're using him, it has made sense. Of course, if his volume expanded, you'd expect that number to maybe come down even as well as half. But when you're playing with Patrick Mahomes and you've, as a rookie, have already shown the ability to score five touchdowns in 12 games, you know, that also contributes well to that upside. Mm-hmm.